Hello everyone, this is the next Vanheim part. Many things happened this turn, so I got Construction 7, which is exciting, because now I can cast Golems. I claimed the Throne of Fortune, nothing really exciting there. Storm Demon, I was successfully able to cast Earthblood Deepwell, which is an incredible boon, another amazing global spell. Found a Boiling Bog and an Enchanted Tomb. And a lot of Blood Slaves this turn. Many, 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 many Blood Slaves. Uh, I think this is Marignan. <laughs> uh, some pretty important battles this turn. Notably, uh, this one. Not really, uh, like, no, you know, strategically, or tactically, I should say. It's not very important. But uh, Marignan is now fighting Flegra. So that's really good for me, because <laughs> that means Marignan's not attacking me. So that's uh, excellent, very good. I believe they had some sort of diplomatic fallout, where Flegra, uh, who is now being piloted by a new player at this point in time, uh, old Flegra is gone. And these two players did not get along very well. So they are now at war great for me. Really happy that Marignan did not decide to invade me, because I would probably have had some problems. There were other battles of note. Um, yeah, here's just Napa pinging this province and saying there's still two wind masters here. And here Vanarus sallied forth to attack Sabalba in Jotunheim. So here's his pretender, pretty equipped. I, I don't think he had all these items last time. Uh, still kind of messed up with his chest wound. Like, 16 spell casting encumbrance is kind of horrible. He has a lot of reinvigoration, but it's not, it's not enough, really. A lot of regen, though. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's cool. For the rest of his forces, not really anything notable. Just this mage without any gems. Uh, the frog has a lot, though. <laughs> there are many frogs in this army. Also a lot of clay men, interestingly enough. Cool unit with regen 10. Rigor mortis, eh? Mm. And relief. Wow. I mean, yeah, Svalba has a lot of powerful magic. So, I, I feel like Rigor Mortis is going to hurt his own troops. Isn't that the case? Because they're not, they're not undead. Yeah, they take 10 armor negating... Yeah, I think he's, uh, I mean, that's a lot of reinvigoration on these troops, but... A lot of his frogs are getting pretty tired. Even with relief up. And of course the loan repayment officer cannot win this battle, but he can sit here annoyingly regenerating 22 HP every turn. Yeah, his troops are deaf. They're hurting themselves. Oh yeah, his communion's uh, going nuclear. <laughs> it can't. It can't sustain itself. So Balba's uh, going a little too hard. I mean, Frozen Heart would do it. I think. I think Frozen Heart could could kill him. Yeah, I think uh, Rigor Mortis is also causing a problem for these imps that are hanging out adjacent to the Pretender, because they're all really tired. 
All of them are like super exhausted and they're not attacking nearly as often as they should be. Like all these skeletons and claymen would be doing much better. Man, does this battle just go to the go to the clock? Oh no, a never healing wound? That's pretty substantial actually. Yeah, five less HP regenerated. Just like that, it's over. <laughs> um, mm, I guess that's a, a draw. I mean, yeah, Vanrus can now leave, but uh, oh, these bats are still fighting though. Yeah, I think Jotunheim's still going to get the, uh, or sorry, not Jotunheim, I think uh, Van Roos is still going to get the defeat because his one unit is going to flee off the battlefield. Well, all these troops are still hanging out. So, uh, I suppose a technical victory for Zabalba, but um, really bad for him, actually. <laughs> like, uh, massive commitment to this force, um, to this battle, I should say. Like, ton of mages, and he lost a lot of them for nothing. Like, basically killed nothing uh, in terms of gold, yeah. Lost all of his claymen because he routed. Lost all of his long dead because he routed. Heavy infantry dying, yeah. I mean... This isn't super substantial, but it is gems and some gold. The four dead mages is a little worse. So interesting to see uh, Van Roos still holding on, even though his opponent is like streaming through his lands with these gigantic armies, just taking everything with few losses. Um, this is a peculiar battle. Yeah, where I sent this smith and this Van Heers to kill some sea dogs. I didn't know the sea dogs had a bottle of living water because I didn't watch the battle replay when they uh, when they attacked. So ice elemental, uh, the ice elemental does trampling damage, so it doesn't really care that the elf has like you know, high defense skill and mist form and glamour and all that. He's just going to crush you anyway. So I do lose that battle. Uh, luckily, neither of my mages died on the retreat. So I'm okay to try that again. And here I am storming the gates of this Miklan fortress. Yeah, it's not really much of a battle, just kind of a quick cleanup. And we lost some units because of Marignan again. A lot of bad events, like for example, I lost a Van Heers, who just got banished <laughs> from, from the game. Um, I feel like this guy... Oh, it was in... Oh, never mind. Yeah, I mean, it says he gets Blood Magic 1, but... Um, He, like, he's gone. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know how to get that mage back. I don't even know if it's possible to get the mage back. This is what I'm trying uh, to fight the Ice Elemental with this time. Hopefully this will work. Um, I'm also pinging this province because I want to see what's in this throne. 
What else am I doing? Uh, continuing to blood hunt down here. I'm building a palisade over here in 192 that I just claimed. Researching around here. Um, I did not notice this turn, but you may notice there is no, there are no candles in this province. So Marignan's dominion is going to creep in here and start zapping my mages, which is not good. Not good at all. Um, just continuing to blood hunt around, site search, research. I am now casting Golem Construction, as I have Construction 7, as you saw at the start of this video. So Golems are a pretty strong thug chassis, having access to Astral 3 with pretty good ease means they can teleport and they don't care about fatigue. They, yeah, they can never fatigue out. And then after that I'm going for Conjuration 8 for the elementals. You know, just the the usual stuff. Forging some owl quills, probably way too late for that. Forging a lot of armor of knights, earth boots, firebrand, casting this big spell. Um. What else is going on? Creating a revenant so I can do more death site searching uh, or just have more death mages around. Continuing to siege here, siege here. I'm moving these guys down here to take this fort because it seems like it's pretty easy. Um, and I now, I have this. There's no, there are no magic sites in it, um, but it's 88 gold, which is all right. Uh, I have this Van Heers who's gonna go underwater and try to kill these tritons. And I'm building a palisade over here on this throne. Uh, I believe that's that's all of note. This is my current inventory. Yeah, I mean, you know. I'm sending a message. Oh yeah, I'm sending 34 water gems to Flegra. Um, this is due to Marignan's war against Flegra. He asked me for, you know, whatever gems I could possibly spare him in a war. And I thought, you know, I've got no use for water gems. I'll give them to Flegra. He asked for water gems. So, you know, hopefully he can make some good use of them. He was very adamant about water gems specifically, so I have to imagine he was planning on spamming, like, water elementals, I guess. Um, but, you know, whatever. Or maybe crap, like, forging items. But I could forge for him if he wanted, I guess. Uh, did I... I've still not noticed that there is a demon gate in this province. Can't tell you when I do notice, because I don't know. But that is really all that's going on this turn. Um, Abyssia is just continuing to build up. Maba is doing the same. And, you know, this war is... Not going good for Van Roos, but uh, that last battle was not not too horrible. I mean, there's not really any more frogs in Jotunheim, so the push into Van Roos's lands can't really continue, which I suppose is good for him. Uh, but he's really struggling. I mean, he's really trying, even considering just how few resources he has access to, which is cool. You know, that's the most exciting time to play Dominions, is when when you're on the complete back foot. Oh, also, Independence attacks Zabalba again. I don't think there's been a single turn. Uh, well, okay. There's not been a period of three turns where Zabalba has not gotten attacked by Independence. Um, he is just extremely unlucky with his... Uh, uh, with, with the random events. I'm not sure if this is correct, if his scales are actually three misfortune, um, but regardless, very, uh, very bad luck for Zabalba. Yep, uh, that's all that's going on this turn. I'm just killing a lot of my own people for blood slaves. Uh, but you know, I got a lot. We'll see which Heliophagus I get from Ivar this turn. Hopefully it's a good one. That's the end of this video.